Okay, so after trying the fake lashes the other night, I have decided to go ahead and share how I've changed up my face routine. As you can tell, I am extremely au natural right now. Got out of the shower, fixed my hair. The only thing I have already applied is my Neil's Yard Remedies Frankincense Intense Cream. I've never been a huge fan of moisturizer, but this stuff is really good. You're not left greasy or oily or anything like that. It's just a really lightweight, natural moisturizer. So that's the only thing I've added. Anybody who knows me knows that pretty much my entire life, I have only ever smudged on a little bit of concealer to cover up these bad boys. And some mascara. On occasion, some eyeshadow. That is it. Well, I've also used uh, eyeliner on occasion. To see me with more than just the concealer and the mascara gets kind of rare. Until recently. Um, I have been doing things to try and pick myself up more. And I don't know, just maybe reinvent who I am. I don't know. We'll see. I have been working on finding different products that work for me. Um, I'm not a fan of things coating my skin. I, I feel like I can't breathe if there's too much on there. So I've worked really hard to find some products that fit my personal needs and give me the look I want. And the other thing, I've always been proud of all my freckles and everything, but as I'm getting older, I'm getting really red and splotchy everywhere. You know, it's time to do something else about it. And I don't want to lose my freckles though, which is why I was so happy when I found these two products. Uh, one thing I'm not going to do is show you myself putting everything on. First of all, somebody's going to have an opinion and tell me I'm doing it wrong, which I probably am, but I'm doing what works for me for now. So I just want to show you what it looks like on me. First thing I've been using is Urban Decay Naked. Um, it's a color correcting fluid. Uh, the pink version, I think I could also use the green for certain things. I don't remember. I spent a lot of time reading when I was there. Um, but I found if I dab that under, it's really helping with the cover-up from Hello Flawless. Um, this stuff, I have never been okay with a full face foundation or concealer. Actually, I don't even know if this is foundation or concealer. It's probably both. Uh, this one I can use everywhere and I don't feel any different. It actually feels kind of good. Um... Maybe I'm changing in my older age. So let me put these on and I'll be right back in a second. All right. And here is with the full concealer foundation, whatever it is. Um, you can see that there's the dark circles are less noticeable. Well, they're not completely gone, but they're better than they normally are. And I don't have a greasy, oily feeling. Although at the moment I look a little shiny, but I'm not sure why. So... Next thing I'm going to do, which I don't know if I should even bother today because you can't even see my eyebrows, but I started using a Precisely Brow Pencil. You know, if I move my hair here, I've got some splotchy bits. So, yeah, my hair covers it. <laughs> and this is with my eyebrows done. I've always been so self-conscious about how thin the ends of my eyebrows were. When I started using it, I was really nervous because I didn't want them to look drawn on. But I actually was really pleased that if I do it right and stay within it, it just darkens it and thickens it up without looking like I've drawn it completely on. So that's been really nice. The next thing, now I don't know if most people do their eyeshadow first or their highlighter first or whatever, but it just depends what mood I'm in. I um, found Smashbox. The... Uh, gold palette, which I know sounds a little weird. Honestly, I wasn't sure about the yellow tones next to my skin. Okay, so I know it looks even more gold right here. Honestly, they are not this yellow gold in person. They've got a more pink undertone to them, which, I don't know, just works really nicely. Um, I suggest checking it out next time you're in a store that carries it, just to see. Um, I've had fun, so now I'm going to go apply this. Now, with the highlighter, honestly, I can't even fully tell it's on half the time unless you get close enough and it's got a little extra shine or shimmer across my cheeks. 
I know a lot of people do, I mean, it seems 50-50 whether or not people do blush anymore. I don't bother because I still have enough natural red tone to my face, even with the foundation on. So I don't worry about adding any extra because, I mean, who needs that? <laughs> so now that I've added the highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. Um, I've been a fan of the Bare Minerals powder eyeshadow for a long time. I like the foiling technique. I just like the general coverage of it. Um, I haven't used a palette in a long time, but I've kind of been tempted to try those again recently. So, but for now, I'm sticking with my Bare Minerals. I'm going to add that, figure out what colors I'm going to use. All right, so I'm really realizing how non-stellar this lighting that I have going on is um, because I didn't put anything golden on my eyelids and I don't know if it looks the same for you guys, but in the screen, to me, they're looking a little golden in there. Anyhow, uh, so what I ended up using, I forgot to mention the Stilla eyeliner that I use. Um, I didn't use it on the top today because I foiled with Liberty and I just smudge it just slightly along the lash line on the bottom. I started doing that partially because I quit wearing mascara on the bottom lashes because even the mo the waterproof mascara was melting and I get this ring of mascara under my eyes and it was driving me insane. But if I quit wearing mascara on my bottom lashes, I wasn't getting it. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, for a while, I thought it was the concealer I was using, that it was too much of an oil base and it was causing it to bleed. I tried wearing mascara without even wearing the concealer and it still did it. I've tried a couple different mascaras, though not the best ones I know. And I don't know. I don't know what does it. So I just decided it was easier just to create this line and put mascara on the top lashes, which I have not done yet. Um, first, I just wanted to share that, okay, so the four colors I ended up using for my eyeshadow was Liberty, Coco as more of a base, uh, some Grace, and some Queen Phyllis, which, now that I hold that up, I see why the it looks gold on there. It's, it's not gold in person, but it looks it, so whatever. It turned out pretty good. Now time for mascara. Okay, so normally I would use CoverGirl Hydrofuge. It's just kind of my go-to. I've got like four different mascaras in the drawer, but this is the one I use the most. Today I decided to go ahead and use my Neil's Yard Remedies Lengthening Mascara. Um, it doesn't give the thick appearance like the CoverGirl does, but you know I haven't used it in a while and I thought I probably should before it actually goes bad. Um, I ended up dabbing just a tiny bit along the ends of the bottom lashes because they were just so blonde and bugging me. So I added that. Honestly, now I'm kind of tempted to try another pair of the false lashes. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not. I actually have an appointment to go get my hair trimmed this afternoon and I don't want to mess up my makeup before I go. So I might wait till I get home to try it again. Um, would be kind of fun, but I hate to, yeah. So no, I'm going to go get this mop top trimmed. So yeah, so today I'm going to go get my ends trimmed. We'll see if I like the stylist. I might be heading for some color. I miss my color. Anybody who has seen pictures, seen me, anything in the last seven, eight years knows I typically have a lot of color. And by that, I mean, I do a lot of fashion colors. I do highlights. I mean, right now, yeah, this is a lot of box dye and home jobs over top of some stuff that I didn't care for. I didn't show you my lips. I'll be back with that. All right, you guys. So I switched the light just a little bit so it wasn't quite the yellow gold tone so much. Um, still playing with the settings on that to get it right too. Uh, finished my lipstick. Not sure I'm loving the color today. Picked up some new ones. Um, the first one really didn't work and this one mm, I'm working with. So <laughs> anyhow, I, this is my final look, uh, for now. We'll see later today if I play with the eyelashes or not, but I am off to get my hair trimmed. Maybe I'll shoot a video on the way there. 
or afterwards, and we'll see what happens. See ya.